Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. vSphere came with larger configuration maximums. What I mean by that is it can support more resources, more virtual machines, more CPUs than it could with ESX 3.5. Now before we get into the specific maximums that have increased with vSphere, I want to show you where to find the document that has all this information. So I'm on VMware.com and I'm going to go to Resources, click on Documentation. Then I'm going to go down here and expand VMware vSphere and click on ESX4. And I'm going to select Configuration Maximums for VMware vSphere 4. So this holds all of our configuration maximums that we can use with vSphere. And it's important to take a look at this because when you're configuring your ESX servers and your clusters, it's good to know where the maximums are. And I'm just going to go over some of the most notable increases with vSphere. The first most notable increase is a virtual machine can handle eight virtual CPUs. So before with ESX 3.5, 4 was the maximum. Now we need to have the correct license level in order to handle 8 virtual CPUs, but it is possible. And a virtual machine can handle 255 gigs of RAM. So those are the two most notable virtual machine maximums that have increased. Now let's talk about host maximums. We can have 512 virtual CPUs per host. So that's 512 virtual CPUs allocated to all the virtual machines on one particular host. We can have 320 virtual machines on a host and the host can have 64 logical processors. For example that would be a server with eight eight-way CPUs. A host can now handle one terabyte of RAM. We can have 32 physical NIC ports. We can have 32 hosts in an HA cluster, and we can have 1,280 virtual machines in an HA cluster. Your vCenter server, if it's running on a 32-bit OS, can handle 200 hosts. If it's running on a 64-bit ho host, it can handle 300 hosts. I'm sorry, 64-bit operating system, it can handle 300 hosts. And there can only be 100 hosts per data center. So those are going to be your most notable maximums. I want to refer you to this document, though. It's good to read through it because vSphere does have maximums. And when you're planning your virtual environment out, you want to know exactly what those maximums are so you don't run into them. 